All right, so this is that cheap battery off of, um, I forgot, is it AliExpress? Um, I tested them out and I'm not impressed with their performance. They're supposed to be 14 amp hours, 48 volt, 14 amp hours. I put two of them in parallel and ran it on my bike and it didn't perform as expected. It should have really felt good. It didn't. Um, I've had a couple of people um, ask me to cut them open. I like cutting things open. So let's take a look. See if I can do it without. Surely it's got a piece of, of uh, cardboard up here on the top too. I don't want to burn up the batteries because I do want to use them for something, for another project that doesn't require the amperage. I mean, they may work good on a skateboard or something. They just didn't work on a thousand watt bicycle. Ouch, that hurt. There we go. That's what I was looking for. It's got a, it does have a cardboard across the top of it, so. Let's check out, make sure I am recording. this stuff it's just the tape okay The batteries are wrapped in a plastic, so they don't have any markings on them at all. I mean, it's not like they're going to all be facing the same direction by some coincidence, so they have no labels on them. So, I don't believe they're Panasonic's by any means. Well, that's it. I'm not going to rip it apart any further because, like I said, it, it, it would be awful strange that the batteries are all facing the same direction. We would see some kind of writing on it by now, and we're not seeing it, so... I don't think they're Panasonic's. There you go. Fake labeling comes to the US. Dying of not surprise.